three, two, one. Hi, I'm Matthias Schulberg. I'm a professional golfer and a trick shot artist. So when did you first discover you could do trick shots? Well, it was back when I was, you know, a kid and I grew up with a buddy of mine that was showing me all his tricks. How old were you when you started? Probably like 10. 10? Yeah, because we went to practice every every day after school and, you know, practice gets boring. First, it was just started juggling. I, I remember I went to golf camp and my roommate at the time, never met him before, but he could juggle like a hundred times. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> Matthias comes from Oslo, Norway, a place where you wouldn't expect to meet many golfers, but as a junior, he won a World Amateur Championship. For college, he got a scholarship to play at Arizona State University, Go Devils, where he had four great years, and now he's on the grind to make it to the PGA Tour. But Matthias's road to the top isn't what makes him unique. What sets him apart from the thousands of other professionals is his ability to do trick shots and leverage his skills on Instagram to attract viewers and sponsors. There's a lot of different ways you can hit a chip shot. You have the more traditional way, and then you have the fun way. You know, it's something different than the typical golfer, which is an old guy sport where you go out and it's expensive. So I have a lot of kids that watch my videos and I see a lot of kids now go out doing trick shots and having fun with it as well. It's amazing. How do you come up with new trick shots? Uh, you know, I, I actually look a lot at different sports. You know how soccer has like a big freestyle. So I look at a lot of soccer. I look at you know, ping pong trick shots. Just browsing the internet, really. So I'm gonna try to implement that into golf. What opportunities has trick shots brought to you? Oh, oh damn. Trick shots started like four years ago, golf trick shots. Nobody really saw saw trick shots before that. You know, I posted one video where I just, it was actually an old video of myself doing trick shots and got a lot of attention. I was like, oh, maybe I'll just start posting once a week. So I did that after Friday after practice. I would just try to figure out a new trick shot to do and something that nobody has ever done before and then kind of grew from there. And you got sponsored from trick shots specifically? <laughs> yeah, Little Vegas, mm -hmm. right there. Cobra Puma Golf right now. And they found and, you from trick shots? Yeah, found me from trick shots and obviously, you know, being a golfer as well and they want to help me get to where I want to be which is you know obviously a professional golfer and then uh, um, so I'm very grateful for them to help me out. Matthias is just one example for how anyone can use social media to follow their passion. Whatever it is that you enjoy in life you can create content, attract eyeballs, and earn income. <laughs> Wait let's tap it in, let's tap it in. <laughs> it's been awesome meeting Matias and playing a few rounds together over the last few weeks. I wish him the best of luck in making it on tour and continuing to blow people's minds with his trick shots. Okay bro, what is one message you want to say to the world? Uh, for those that don't play golf, uh, golf is a very relaxing way to uh, disappoint yourself and be frustrated with yourself. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, stay safe, uh, take care of your friends and family, and uh, stay humble. Awesome, nice meeting you man. Yeah, you too. Bye. In. What are some of the struggles or most challenging parts about trying to be a professional golfer? Um, probably the fact that you're alone all the time. Sometimes you go play with your friends, but not everyone can play at the same time because it's a very time consuming. Um, so it's important that you're in a good place where there's a lot of other pros you can play with. So I'd say the hardest part is probably just the fact that you're alone and you have to do everything by yourself. But it's also one of the good parts because then you can't, you know, can't complain to anyone. everyone. Can't, can't blame anyone if you if you fuck up. It's exactly. Like your fault. What's like? What about the pressure in the mental game? How do you deal with that? Um, you know, that's that's part of the game and that's part of every sport. Uh, so you know, golf is a you know a five-hour round and you have a lot of time to think on the golf course, which sometimes can be tough, especially if you're struggling. But you just gotta you know figure out a routine to get you back to you know focus and. Um, being able to shut off and on and off. 
I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.